In the previous lecture, you understand how to work with Z in Python. Now, in this lecture, we're going to learn some simple mathematical operations. In Python basic tutorials, you understand how to work with operators. You also understand how you can do simple mathematical operations using different operators. Now, let's take a look at how we can work with operator module. To work with operator module, you need to first import this module in the Python program. So, you just need to say here, import operator just like this. Once you have the operator module, you can use different methods of the operator module to do some mathematical operations. So let me first create here some variables so I can do some operation on it. So I'm going to create here some variables a, b, c, d, e and then specify some values to it. You can notice how I specify different values to all these variables. Now just out of that, I'm going to just add two values using operator module. To add two values, I'm going to say here print and I'm going to say here operator dot add. Using add method, you can add two values. So here you need to specify first argument. You need to first specify the first value. Here I'm going to say a comma b. So once I specify two argument to this add method, I'm going to execute this file. When I execute this file, I'm going to have five as a result. So it's going to calculate three and two. So this add method is going to add two values and return the result. Just for that, I'm going to duplicate this statement. And down here, second, we have a simple method, which is lower div. So here I'm going to say dot floor div. You can notice you need to specify two argument to this floor div method. So I'm going to say here a comma b. When I execute this file, I'm going to have one as a result. This floor div is just like dividing two numbers, just like this. If I just say here print and divide two by 10, it's going to return the result 0 0.2. And if I want to get the result in integer value, I can specify here doubled forward slash. When I execute this file, I'm going to have zero as a result. So I'm going to have the division of two numbers. So the floor div method is going to do the same work as this operator does. Now, just for that, we have another method, which is mode. And in this method, I'm going to just specify a and b. I'm going to pass two values here and execute this file. The mode method is just like a modulus operator in Python. We already know that how to work with this modulus operator. So the mode method is going to calculate a modulus by b. So it's just like 3 modulus by 2. And then this method is going to return the result 1. Just out of that, I'm going to duplicate this statement. And then we have a simple method, which is mule. This method is used to multiply two values. Here I'm going to say a comma e. When I execute this file, I'm going to have 30 as a result. It's going to multiply 3 and 10. So the mule method is going to help us to multiply two values. Just for that, we have another method, which is pa. This method is going to return the power of the number. So here I'm going to say a comma b. Then when I execute this file, I'm going to have the power of three. So this method is going to return the power of the number. In the previous Python lectures, we understand how we can use this method. Now, just for that, we have another method to subtract the value. So I'm going to use here operator dot sub and when I specify here a comma b I'm going to have the subtraction of two values so it's going to minus two from this three value so the sub method is going to use for subtraction just for that we have concatenation method to concatenate two values so here I'm going to say dot concat and here I'm going to pass two string and the concatenate method is going to help us to concatenate two values so here I'm going to say a and then specify second value b. When I execute this file, I'm going to have a and b as a result. At the last, I'm going to have a simple method, which is operator dot equal. So I'm going to say here e cube. And here I'm going to say b comma c. Now when I execute this file, it's going to return true and false value. Now you can notice, I'm going to specify here b means 2 and c means 2.0. Now, this equal operator is going to return true. Now, keep in mind, the equal operator is not going to check the data type of the variable. You can notice here, we have different data type to both these variables. But still, the equal operator is going to return true. If you want to check the data type as well of two different variables, you can use id function. I think you already learned that in the previous lecture. Now, these are some useful and important methods of operator module. I hope you understand how to work with operator module in Python. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.